Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these Libby cups using some new vinyl that I got from Tech Wrap. It's absolutely amazing. This one says Mom Life, and it's really awesome. I love these Libby cups, or they're also known as beer cups as well, but I thought this would be a really fun tutorial to show you guys. It took only a couple of minutes to do this, and it was so much fun to do, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting in Design Space and I'm going to be using these two files here. I purchased both of these off of Etsy. So in case you're interested, I will leave the links down below. So for this first one, there's really not much you can do with this. It's already layered for you and you can't ungroup it and you can't unattach it. So there's nothing really you can do with this except for change the color. In case you wanted to change the color, all you gotta do is select it and go up to the color box and change it to whatever color you would like. So I'm actually gonna leave it this blue color. Um, I'm not really sure which color I'm going to be using. A company called Tech Wrap actually sent me some vinyl to try out. So that's what I'm going to be doing today in this video is showing you how to create these Libby or these beer cups and using their vinyl. I actually am excited to use this vinyl. I have not used it before. It seems a lot thicker than the 651 I'm normally used to. So we're gonna see together how this weeds out and how it cuts out with the Cricut machine. So with that being said, the last thing I wanna do with this first one is actually change the size. Um, you wanna make sure that you have the correct dimensions to your cup when you're cutting something out. So this is the size that it came with, but I found out with some research on Google that the size that you really wanna have for these is the width is supposed to be 9.425. And then I'm gonna change the height here as well. So I'm gonna unlock it up here and I'm gonna change it to be 4.137. So I'm gonna change it 4.137. And then that is supposed to be the size that you're going to want to use for these kind of cups. But again, you can print this out on regular print on a regular printer and kind of wrap it around your cup to see if it fits. Um, that would be a, a good suggestion rather than cutting this out and finding out, hey, it doesn't actually fit. The next thing I'm gonna do with this one is actually change the width and height of this one before I show you the next step. And I wanted to change the width and the height of this before I show you the next step because once you ungroup this, it's going to be hard to get it all together, if that makes sense. So you always wanna make sure you resize everything first. I'm gonna go up here and I'm actually gonna lock it because I do not wanna change the size of this. So on this side here, you can see that these are um, all attached together. So what I wanna do is I wanna have two different colors on this. I wanna have the open hearts here one color and then the black ones a different color. So the way to do that is you're gonna to wanna to go to ungroup up here, up at the top, and it's gonna ungroup every one of these. So now they are individual. And if you would go to cut these out, all these um, open ones here will all cut right next to each other and then you gotta physically go ahead and manually put them on your cup. So I'm gonna show you an easier way than that. So I'm gonna show you really quick. These black ones, same thing. They're just gonna be a, a total disaster if you cut it out the way it is. So I wanna get all the open ones to be uh, selected and attached to each other. The way that I do that is I'm gonna select the first one here. And I'm really sorry guys, I have a Mac computer, so mine might be different than yours. You might push like the shift button, but for me, I have a Mac, so I'm gonna push the command button. So I have the first one selected here. I'm gonna hold down the command button and I'm gonna click on each one of these hearts. So you can see the box is going over it. I'm still gonna click this one because you wanna get every single one of these. And it's only grabbing the ones that you're clicking. So I'm just getting these right here. So I clicked on every single one of those. And you saw on the side here, they all changed to this darker uh, gray color. It used to be the lighter gray, and now it's the darker gray. I'm gonna go ahead and push attach. See, so now I can show you that they are all actually attached to each other. Now, to make this one even simpler, because it's all gonna be one piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all of those and click attach. There we go. Now it doesn't matter where I put this, I've already resized it to the size that we want, so I don't have to worry about that. Now I just wanna change the color. So in order for me to, do, to use them different colors, I'm actually gonna select this first one, go up to the color box, and change it. 
Honestly, it doesn't really matter what color I'm going to change it. I just want these three to be a different color so when I cut them out, it's not all going to cut it on the same mat. So that was the only thing that you have to do here. Go to make it. And then I'm going to show you which setting I use. So it's just showing you a preview of what they're going to look like. So that is it. I'm going to go to continue. And then it's going to pop up and show me, or ask me rather, what setting I want to put it on. So when I normally cut out uh, vinyl, I either use the stencil vinyl, vinyl here or the washi tape here. Um, but this is this vinyl is a little bit thicker than the 651 that I'm used to. So I'm actually going to use this premium vinyl one here. And we're going to see how this cuts out. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the colors on my mat. I'm just using a simple green mat. All right, so I finished cutting these out. I know you can't really see it right now, but there's the pink one. Here's the pink that goes to white and then the holographic one. But the first thing I want to show you that you need to do is you need to clean your cup. So this is a Libby cup or a beer mug cup, however you want to call it, but that is this. You want to take some alcohol and then just like a rubbing pad or a piece of paper towel or something to clean your surface really well. And I like to do this before I get started so that it dries in time. You want to make sure it's clean and very dry before you start putting your vinyl on. There is that. And I'm going to show you guys this. So this is just a little heart that we cut out. And like I said, I've never used this before. I've never tried it. So I'm going to see how it goes. It looks like a pen, but it's actually a weeder. So we're going to see how this goes. Oh, wow. Okay. It picks up pretty good. All right. So here comes the moment of truth. We're going to start peeling this back. Like I said, this vinyl does seem a lot thicker than regular vinyl that I've been using, the Oracle 651. So we'll see. Okay. All right, guys. So this is definitely cutting out. It cut out really well, and it's actually weeding really, really well. I am surprised because normally when I cut out smaller pieces, I have a heck of a time trying to weed these out. But these little guys are really coming off well. Um, some of them I do have to use my finger to push it down, but maybe I didn't put enough pressure on the cutting because I've never used this before. I didn't know what pressure to put it on if I should add some. So maybe, if you're gonna use this tech wrap, maybe use, um, instead of the default pressure, you wanna add a little bit more, maybe, I don't know. But this, I'm having no problems whatsoever getting this vinyl off. And it's beautiful, thick paper. I mean, it's, I wish you guys could see, but it's really nice and thick. It's not like flimsy, it's very thick. I feel sad throwing this out, I really do. I wish there was something else I could do with it, but we're gonna put that aside for now. So this is the first one. That cut out absolutely beautiful. And then we have this one where my hand was still warm on it with the extra hearts. You can kind of see the hearts up here. So we're gonna do the same thing really quick. Use this pen, wow, it really does pick up pretty nice. Okay, and peel this back. So this is the heat transfer. Wow, guys, oh my gosh. That is weeding amazing, and it's very pretty. Wow, I'm super, super, super impressed with this. Again, it's called Tech Wrap. I would definitely look them up. The prices are pretty comparable to, you know, the Oracle 651 that I normally use. And I like this a lot better because it's, it's it's very thick. I mean, I can't describe it any more than it's just a nice, thick material. So I am definitely impressed by this. I'm just using my finger for these pieces that want to come up. But otherwise, it did a really great job cutting out. Wow. So again, here's the color. It's going to change from the pink to white when it's cold or hot. We'll put that on the side. Wow, look at that. All right, so now we're gonna use this weeder again and get these guys out and kind of see. I've never used this before, so I'm not sure the proper way of holding it. Okay, so that one is finished. Wow, I really, whoops, I missed one, guys. 
I really like how easy this is to weed and how it sticks nicely to the backing and I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like on the mug and how it changes colors. And then we have this last one here. All right, so here we go. Here is this one. And then these two go together. You can see the pink is definitely showing. And then once it gets warm again, it's showing the pink again. So now that we already did our cups, we clean them. We just need to take a piece of transfer tape and go over this. I just see a bump here that I'm going to fix really quick. It's probably my mistake in there. But here, there, just like that. So I'm just going to take a piece of transfer tape and put it over here. Here we go. So I'm just using a clear piece of transfer tape. I love the Fisker transfer tape. I love that you can see right through it and it doesn't have the lines like Cricut normally does. And then I'm going to use this, first of all. It's a little um, roller from Cricut. And I like to roll it on. And then I have another one that I really like. So this is two pieces. Actually, it's one piece together, but then it comes with this part at the bottom so you can scrape it on here. So if you normally scrape with plastic and you're scraping on uh, your transfer tape onto your backing, it kind of rips it sometimes. So I really like this, how they put the backing on here where I can scrape it and it's not going to scratch into anything. All right, so we're going to see how that looks. So I'm going to pick it up. What I like to do is flip it upside down and then work upside down to make sure none of my vinyl comes back up. Perfect. All right, all right, all right, all right. Guys, I'm getting excited. And depending on how you guys want to do this, um, I'm thinking you can use, even use parchment paper behind this so you're not, you know, going out of the way. But I'm going to just start. I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to start at the top here. There's a little lip on here. You can see that. So I'm going to kind of go right under the lip and just lay down my first pieces here. Okay. Wow. Guys, I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right, so then I'm just going to let gravity pretty much do its job and I'm just letting it fall over. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to do this, but this is how I'm going to try it. If you guys know any other way, let me know. But I'm just letting gravity do its job. All right, so now I'm at the edge. You guys can see. I'm gonna push these down and pull this end of the transfer tape up. I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing so that I can get the other hearts on. Maybe there's an easier way to do this. I don't know, this is my first time trying this. So there. So then I'm just going to use my thumb and push this on and then I'll pull back my transfer tape. Wow. So look at that. Can you guys see that with the background? Let me use my mat maybe and show you guys. There, does that help at all? Look at that. That is beautiful. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I don't know if there's a better way to kind of figure out where the top and bottom is. I was kind of going off the lip at the top, and it looks pretty, um, you know, even at the bottom here. So I, I really like that. I think it turned out well. So there's the first one with the rose gold. That is beautiful. And then we're going to do the other one with the white and the pink get myself situated here guys all right so I think what I want to do is make the little guys I have to think about this make the little guys go on top yeah I'm gonna take the pink ones first and then lay it over the top and you kind of see through the paper you know what either way I think is okay I might start with the lighter ones first I like this tran this um, vinyl too because the paper is thin and you can see right through it look at that can you guys see that I see the pink right through there which is amazing if you're using like regular 651 the Oracle or however brand whatever brand you buy you can't see behind these I, I hope that's showing up on camera you can see right behind it 
So what I'm going to do is take that same piece of transfer tape that I just used. All right, guys, I was going to use the same piece of transfer tape. Then this happened. Oh, my gosh. I do love using my transfer tape over, but I have to, unfortunately, use another piece. And I will show you guys what my transfer tape looks like. So here it is. I buy this huge roll. It's from Fiskars, I believe it's called. Um, I'll leave a link down below, but this goes a long, long way. So I'm just going to lay this down, put this right over it, and then cut the back off. So what I'm going to do is line my little guys up and I can tell that the f three of them need to go right in the middle. So I'm doing the best I can just to visualize these three, one, two, three, going in the middle. And I'm going to lay it down flat, get the bubbles out, and then use my little scraper again. Scrape those on there so they all stick together. Flip it over. Get lucky with that edge there. All right. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is turning out so well. All right, so for the second one, ready to clean this one, right? Now I see where the parchment paper would really come in handy because I want to make sure I get this directly in the center. Starting with my guide that was already coming off, kind of as my guide. There. Get these guys on quick. I'm really excited to put some hot and cold in here to see, you know, the full effect of this. But this is the color transfer, their color vinyl, and I have a little piece of green on there. I'm not sure where that's from. But I'm excited to see what this looks like with the hot and cold. Guys, I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love. Look at how this turned out. I absolutely love it. The vinyl cut really well, and we did really well, and it's sticking on here extremely well. So let's see if I can show you the back of it again with some white behind it. What do you guys think? You guys like this? Did it turn out okay? Have you guys used tech wrap before? I have so many questions for you guys. Have you used tech wrap before? Have you used these Libby or beer cups before? Have you used one of these weeders? I don't know. Lots of questions, but I want to know. I want to know from my, my viewers. Have you guys used this stuff before? I love it. I definitely give it a thumbs up. And then there's this other one. I love it. I think it turned out amazing. So give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you guys aren't already subscribed. And hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Happy crafting, everyone. Stay tuned.